And what about you? I said in a previous video, I would uh, show you this wee concept here of uh, how to find noises in suspension. It was a uh, part of the shotty ears uh, video I did. So here it is, and uh, we'll just show you what this is, what we've made here. So here I have a crocodile clip. It's uh, one I had in the in the drawer. That's its mate there, and uh, we'll have a bit of speaker wire connected to it. It's just uh, a little speaker wire, and I have a couple of uh, banana plugs, just roughly connected to the end to the speaker wire. So. What this is, is this is a cheap suspension knocking finding tool, uh, if that's what you want to call it. So it's uh, part of our wee series that I'm sure if you're following the channel there, it's uh, made out of our Pizzo Electric Crystals. That's in there. And quite cheap on eBay. £1.34 for two. So, 12 millimeter pizza element sounder trigger disc plus copper wire, free postage, £1.34. And that's them there, they're minute, uh, only 12 mil, they're about the size of my nail there. So, yeah, not very big at all. So, the reason why I would go for the small ones there is. They fit inside this crocodile clip. So I have them connected there. And then what you do is you simply just, it just sits in underneath the spring. So it just sits in there with a bit of heat shrink over the top of it. Just uh, heat shrinks there just so the two contacts don't short out on the metal clip. So we're just using the clip as a, you know, just so you can clip on to an anti roll bar or suspension or whatever. So I've tried this in a couple of scopes, uh, the Mixig scope and the wee Pico as well, and it doesn't work great on those those scopes, but it works dead on on our Vantage Pro that we we'll have here. So the Vantage Pro that we we'll have here, just brought it in the shot there. So. I'm not exactly sure why it doesn't work well in the other scopes. Uh, I think it's something to do with the bandwidth. And the other thing is, uh, the bandwidth in the other scopes are pretty big in comparison to this wee Vantage. So it, it actually works better in the Vantage. But uh, the the scopes with a bigger bandwidth, uh, the Mixig has a is a hundred megahertz. So uh, it just picks up everything. Uh, there's massive amount of noise. And uh, the other thing is, this speaker wire is unscreened. So that doesn't help matters either. If you were gonna make one of these, you'd probably wanna use some sort of screen two, two core wire. So it's just two cores in there and uh, under the pizza. And I've just, it's directly connected into the Vantage. But we, we, we can't see it on the Vantage. And as I say, this is only a concept, guys. Uh, and you can make this yourself. And experiment about but it's just a it's an idea and it's based on the chassis ears uh, concept but instead of uh, listening to the wee audio amplifier you can uh, you can see see the noise on the on the screen so I have a car still on the ramp here uh, from what I was doing before so I've loosened off a uh, the anti roll bar drop link and uh, will be able to see that. So let me just show you that while we're here. So that's our anti roll bar dropping and I've just loosened that bolt there. So that's rattling about a wee bit there. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. But this is again, this is just for demo. This is, uh, that's all this is. So We'll get you back onto the scope. So here we are on the scope. 
and uh, two channel knob scope of its GAD set at uh, 100 millivolts per division and we we'll have quite a higher trigger here so that's quite important the trigger in here is quite important so if I hit this at the top you can see the noise there happening on the screen so on the other scopes you see the the noise level here that's just crazy on the other scopes but the Vantage Pro uh, doesn't seem to bother it too much so if I move the trigger it disappears now uh, what I have been messing about with is yeah I have that on peak detect there as well so let me turn it off a wee second and see so that's what we're getting um, and again if I put it on the trigger just move the trigger a wee bit okay so that's the way I've got it going and I'm going to clip this on the, the anti roll bar that's us clipped on the anti roll bar there so it just clips on nicely so that's our our loose connection there so you can hear that so we're going to see if this crocodile clip picks this up right, so i'm just going to move this uh loose sway bar link or on the roll bar drop link here and there we go so there's our, our, our suspension knocking noise. And if you want to clear that, just have it on the trigger. Move the trigger. And it's not seeing anything at the minute. So there's a noise. So the greater the noise, the bigger the, the, bigger the waveform. So those settings are about the best that I've found. But you can mess about with these if you want. And is it the, did I keep that peak detect off? I'll put it on the peak detect. See what happens. I think it makes a big difference. Yeah. So no, they, I'll put the wee microphone up here. Hear and see it at the same time. So the idea behind this is to try and narrow down the nothing noises. So we know where this not a noise is because I created it. So what we'll do is we'll change the position of this clip. Um, we'll put it onto the lower ball joint, and uh, we'll try that on the Vantage and see if it's gonna pick up anything. So we'll bring you back down to the Vantage again. So all that squiggly line there that was me moving the clip. So we will just move the trigger over and that gets rid of that. So we'll agitate the sway bar again, anti-roll bar drop link again, and nothing there. So it's not the lower ball joint is rattling. So we'll move it back on the anti-roll bar again, and there's loads of sway lines. That's me moving the clip. Move the trigger over to get you to get rid of that. And we'll do the on the roll bar again. So there you go. Um, there's a wee cheapo, ridiculous, uh, the simple tool there made for a couple of pounds. Uh, as I say, if you're going to make one of these yourself, you're probably better using some sort of screen wire. 
But uh, on the wee vantage there, it uh, works quite well. So it's just a case of messing about your settings there and uh, see what's see what uh, see what you get. So there you are. So I hope that inspires somebody. You could maybe make a better one than me. But uh, yeah, you've seen it in eBay there. There, what does that work at it? 60, 70p each, 65p for one of them wee pizzas and a bit of wire. And if you have some of these uh, calculator clips, which aren't, mu aren't much good really for anything really. What I use these for, these calculator clips, the reason why I have this is you can, you can clip that onto the battery terminal and then you can clip smaller clips to it, uh, to that. That's that's why I have them in the drawer. But I just decided to make that to uh, see if this would work, see if it was any use. Uh, as I say, the Vantage, the Wii Vantage is the only one that really gives me a decent usable waveform. Uh, the other ones, it's just this mental amount of noise and uh, it doesn't really work. So there you are. That's uh, more ideas. Hopefully, hopefully there's a wee bit of inspiration there. Uh, maybe give you a few ideas. And by all means, if you can make one, demonstrate it. Put a video, put it up on YouTube, and uh, share the knowledge. Let other people see it. So, don't be keeping these great ideas to yourself. So, hope that helps somebody. Hope you like it. All the best, and bye bye.